he'll say things like, if you leave, like you'll never work in Nashville again. I'll ruin you. The shocking allegations against a well-known Music City mogul raising more questions tonight. Former employees and clients of Kurt Webster tell stories of sexual misconduct and a hostile work environment. And that has many asking the question, what do you do if you work in the entertainment industry or other jobs without an HR department? News Channel 5's Jesse Knudsen explains where you can turn if you feel like you're being treated unfairly on the job. Jesse. Well, the law says that employers have to have a policy in place to prevent and correct sexual harassment. And if they do have complaints, they need to promptly and appropriately investigate them and remedy them. But that gets a lot more complicated when there's no HR department. For employees at Webster PR, when they allegedly experienced sexual harassment, many felt like they had no options. It feels like, from their perspective, they either need to leave or stay and take it, neither of which is an acceptable remedy. Ann Martin at Bone McAllister Norton has worked with plenty of people who have been in a situation where they didn't know where to turn for help. It takes a ton of courage for people to come forward. After Austin Rick came forward with accusations of sexual misconduct against Kurt Webster, many employees found a platform to make their voices heard that they never had while at Webster. It goes back to just feeling hopeless. There's no HR. There's no one to file a complaint with. And that feeling can span throughout all small businesses. You work for a mom and pop organization and pop is the problem. Who is going to control pop? Who can you go to to complain about pop? There's nobody in the organization higher than that person or who can control that person or deliver that message. Martin says employees with no HR department can reach out to the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission or Human Rights Commission here in Tennessee for help, or they can seek the help of a lawyer, but that leaves many afraid of what could come next. You don't want to get blackballed in an industry, and unfortunately we do see that that happens. The law does protect employees from being retaliated against for complaining about discrimination or harassment, but in industries where everyone knows each other, there can be no guarantee that news won't get out and judgments won't be made. Look, people in this position are in a tough place. They're vulnerable. Lawyers cost money and there's no guarantees. A lot of harassment claims can be hard to argue in court because, because there's a lot of he said, she said. But generally, the more people that come forward with similar stories, the stronger a case can be.